general maintenance of your pool equipment. We'll start with the O-rings on the pump. The ones you want to check are going to be on the lid, of course. There's also one on this union and this union. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is uh, clean the filter. <clears throat> now, in the first week of ownership of your pool, you're going to have to do a lot of things different because we're trying to turn uh, tap water into healthy pool water. And by doing so, um, we're going to have to clean the filter every other day for the first week because there's some other contaminants in the pool from it freshly being plastered. So in the first week, I want you to clean the filter every other day. First thing you do before cleaning your filter is get the water drained out of the filter. There's a drain plug down here. You can take a screwdriver and just fit it in between the wedges there. Unscrew it. It's gonna start gurgling. Then open the top right here and the air will now come in and allow the filter to drain much faster. Then after the water's drained, go ahead and remove the clamp. The easiest way to pull the, the uh, filter top off is to put your knee up against the top of the belly band clamp and pull towards you then pull it off. Okay, you'll notice uh, we have four cartridges and we have a top manifold collector plate is what it's called. It just pulls free, pulls right off. And then you can pull the filter cartridges out. There is no right side up or upside down to these. So you can't go wrong when you're putting them back in. Just pull them all out. And then once you have completed that, take a water hose and spray the remainder of the debris that's in the bottom of the filter tank out the drain plug hole. Now in the first week, as I said, you're gonna to have to clean the filter every other day. You'll also be brushing the pool interior finish twice a day. Um, a minimum of twice a day. You can actually brush it as much as you want, but a minimum of twice a day for the first week. So the top collector manifold plate is pretty self-explanatory. We got four holes and then a fifth. So it's gonna go like this. Here's the O-ring that you will need to, if you see debris all locked up in here like it is right now, you need to take it off, clean the O-ring off, and then clean the seat off for the O-ring. Make sure the seat is clean and on the top part of the lid as well. Put the top back on. Belly band. Back on. Okay, when you get this pretty tight and it's getting hard to turn, you need to go ahead and get a little rubber mallet or some kind of hammer and just tap that along the perimeter of the filter. And then it will be much easier to tighten it some more. Continue this until the bolt slightly protrudes out the uh, edge of the nut. If your pool's too full of water, get big rain, we, we always put overflows on the pools so they help stay uh, drained but if it's uh, not keeping up then there is another way to drain your pool and that is with this little hose spigot we put on the front of the filter you just attach a garden hose to it run it wherever you need to run it to and then open it with the pump on and it will start draining the pool <laughs> we're just a phone call away at 405-844-7500.